ang masakit, Secretary Duque, hindi nila pinasok sa ospital. And now, the OFW is missing. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I would like to ask... That's only PUM, if I may just clarify. That, that you so call that's them, not PUI? No, no. The, the persons under monitoring under is monitoring. different from patients uh, under investigation, investigation, which uh, constitutes the PUIs. Okay. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I would like to ask uh, help, assistance from DOH, because I have this uh, one um, report. No, uh, this uh, this uh, OFW is from Hong Kong. Um, she got sick, and she was asked by the employer to submit herself for medication. And then, according to that OFW, um, gumaling siya, and then she was sent home. She came home January 31, and then. Um, so because of the information gathering from the barangay health workers, uh, parang na chismis na um, umwe and then may ubo, may lagnat. So meaning siguro bumalik yung sakit niya. So the MHO went to the house of the Bianan. I would like to mention the, the municipality and the barangay. It's Maturanok. Gimba. And then when the health uh, workers went there, ang sabi, hindi daw dun nakatira, kundi dun sa isang bayan ko sa Aliaga. And the barangay is San Emiliano. So this MHO of Gimba coordinated with that MHO from Aliaga. And then itong MHO ng Gimba nakialam, she went to the house. And then she said, uh, sinabi doon, wala na doon. Nandun na naman sa Gimba, doon sa Biyanan. Okay? Ngayon, nung dumating doon sa Gimba, nakausap ng M MHO ng Gimba yung OFW. And she admitted that she has coughing, she has sore throat. Ang masakit, Secretary Duque, hindi nila pinasok sa ospital. And now, the OFW is missing. So please help me on this. We can uh, uh, look into this. Can you just give us some more information? So number I can... two, number two is, what will we do with this MHO? Bakit pa niya pinabayaan na hindi pinasok sa ospital? DLG, please. Ma Madam Chair, we'll... Uh, we'll uh... We'll get a report na lang from our field people and, and from you personally on how we should uh, be dealing with that uh, situation, yes. Madam Chair. Yes, I can give you the name of the MHO, but before you give a disciplinary action, please investigate muna, no? Because, Mr. Secretary, ang dami na niyang pinuntahan. So baka infected na yung, yung buong kasama niya sa house, dun sa Aliaga, and then... Uh, she went to, to another, another municipality. So please help me on this, uh, Mr. Secretary. This is very alarming. Um, if I may just again uh, underscore, yung pong uh, mga 80, 82% ng COVID-19 cases are mild, uh, self-limiting. So sila mismo uh, on their own gumagaling. The remaining uh, 13 to 15% would be uh, moderate to severe. Okay? Na yan, kailangan natin ma-hospital yan. At yung 5% critical. Siguradong kinakailangan po ng uh, uh, mas mataas na uh, pangangasiwa, no? uh, lalo na kung may mga uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome na. No? Uh, pero ang kinakailangan po natin maintindihan dito ay mukhang yung sistema sa LGU ay kinakailangan ripasuhin ito dahil hindi po maganda itong nangyari na ito. Uh, but uh, do not be alarmed because we will take care of that with the DILG. Uh, 
Secretary Thank Duque, interject ko lang, no? Uh, in relation doon sa concern ni uh, Kong Swan Singh, I know one case also in the province of Bulacan, no? So, I was asked by a uh, doctor friend on the protocol kasi the patient recently traveled from it Italy and then nagka-fever, cough, immediately pumunta sa provincial hospital. Pero never siyang na PUI, na lagay sa PUI, nor na na send yung testing. So na, nag nagulat siya kasi siya concern I think it's because uh, in the provincial hospital supposed to be cascaded ang protocols natin on uh, how to identify a PUI and uh, PUM. So siguro lang kailangan intensify yung information Uh, protocols para sa ating mga health workers. Last uh, question, uh, Kong Swan Singh. Uh, actually, I don't have uh, any other question. I would like to thank in advance uh, Secretary Duque. Please help us po. At, uh, uh, this is my first case in my district. So baka naman mamaya, hindi lang itong first case, kundi dumami na. So that's all, uh, Madam Chair. Thank you very much.